Yes. Okay, welcome back to the Icewind Dales rendition. Uh, Icewind Dales Neverwinter Nights rebuild. You follow behind me, Horace. Yes. I had done this yes. a little bit earlier, except for um, I got us to this back to this point off screen because I didn't think anybody would be interested in watching a me just pretty much walk through empty area. Let's waste about five minutes doing that. And I got to this point earlier, and we got through, finished off this last little bit, and then the game crashed for some reason. I don't know exactly what happened, but it crashed for some reason. So I was going to go ahead and take the chance to point something out that's different between this engine and the Infinity engine that is used in the original Icewind Dale game. In the original Icewind Dale game, the map is only revealed as it comes within your the, radi the range of your, your natural line of sight. Um, there was a fog of war for that. The fog of war effects in the Neverwinter Nights 2 engine is such that fog of war only exists between closed doors. So if there's a closed door somewhere, that part of the map does not seem to exist. Since we have no closed doors on this map, as soon as we came in on here, we had the entire map. A little bit, makes it a little bit easier getting around. Um... But oh well. Okay. Dragon Eye level 3. Okay. Now, oops. Okay. We're going to have a couple of these traps. There we go. Everybody. Look carefully here. Search nice and slow. Oh, Delinian doesn't have uh, go into search mode because she's an elf. She's always in search mode. Okay, there are a couple of these traps around here. And last time I ended up triggering two of them. One because I saw this one too late. And one because I rolled a four on disarming it. Okay, that's a 7. You rolled an 8 and a 7, just don't roll a 4. There you go. See, that's the thing about skill rolls in 3.5. There's always the uh, the joke about, oh, you rolled a 1, that's a critical failure. Uh, critical failures only exist on attacks. Saving throws and skills do not critical fail. They succeed based off your bonus. So if you have enough of a bonus to, to succeed on any roll, there's no point in rolling. Because you might roll a 1, yes, but that 1 is still a success. And you rolled a 1. It says critical failure, but he would have had a critical fail if you rolled a 4. That's how critical failures work on disarming traps. He failed by more than 5. If you failed by more than 5, that's a critical failure. And the trap goes off in your face. Do not roll a four or less. There you go. Now, I think it's funny they're using these frost traps when their stated goals to turn this area back into a uh, jungle. Oh, that was a nine. You need a ten. That was an eight. Come on, you need a 10. There you go, you got a 10. I am not very thrilled with the uh, random number generator. Okay. Before we move on, I'm going to save. We call it. Yeah, we're going to call it. We're going to overwrite the back in the eye thing. Okay. Step with me. Come on. You'll follow oh. behind me, all right? Indeed. Is there something you want? Yes. yes. Okay, now... What do you want? Mice has the best eyes, because wisdom score and dark vision. Um, so... But then again, she doesn't have a spot roll, so actually the best eyes might be... Um... Huh, nothing's attacking me. Is there something you want? 
Oh my, how did you get down here? Are you hurt? No, I'm fine. Why do you ask? Who are you? I'll live. What is this place? This is a sanctuary for ill death, and we were drawn here when we dreamed of the foul pollution that was occurring in this area. Unfortunately, the trolls, lizardmen, and other creatures are very difficult to work around. Do you know anything about the Hearthstone Gem from Koldahar? The Hearthstone Gem? It's a sacred artifact of Sylvanas, isn't it? I heard that it used to rest in Koldahar, but it was lost long ago. Other than that, I don't know much about it. I must be going. Farewell, priest. Very well, if you have need of our beds, you may rest here. Our healer Shara is located to the east. May Eldath and her priest watch over you. Yes, this is not suspicious at all. This would not be suspicious even if I hadn't already played this game before. Okay, see, this is what I'm talking about. There's a closed door. There's a closed door. It's a tapestry. Displaying the holy symbol of Eldaf, goddess of peace and tranquility. Are you sure you don't know anything about the Hearthstone Gem? Well, yes, I'm quite certain. I've heard legends about its powers, of course, but I don't know who stole it from the Temple of the Forgotten God. Wait a minute. How do you know it was stolen from... Ah, uh, okay. Thanks for your help. So we go through the large door behind me and... Uh, Take the hallway until you turn right. She's through the first door on your left after that. Take care to not to wander too far. Our inner sanctum is close to outsiders. Thanks. Okay. Let's see what this is. A librarian. Greetings, stranger. I'm the librarian of this retreat. I'm called Gilo. Can I be of assistance? You know anything about the Hearthstone Gem? I know something about it. I know that it was an artifact of Savannah's was taken from Koldahar long ago. Other than that, I know nothing. Can I help you with anything? People have been disappearing from Koldahar. Do you know anything about it? We don't get out of the sanctuary very often, so we don't know much about what goes on outside of Dragon's Eye. The injections might be linked to the theft of an artifact from Koldahar. I already asked. Yeah, that'll give me the same stuff about the Hearthstone Gem. I was wondering if I could look through your library. Certainly, you may browse through any of the books here. However, the library through the door to the north is restricted to members of our community. Is there anything else I can help you with? Do you have any magic? Do you have any magical texts? Yes, I do have a few scrolls that I might be willing to part with. Please show me what you have. Okay, uh, lightning bolts. Flame arrow. Mirror image. I think I already have mirror image. Oh well. Might as well buy that too. I can use it even if I don't have it memorized then. Okay, that seems to be everything. Okay. Ice Storm is added. Mirror Image is added. Flame Arrow is added. Scribe Scroll is added. And I need to wear that again. So, look at the AC difference. There we go. I want to check something here real quick. It has an extra plus two. Yes. Folly of Fury, Fish on the Sea of Fallen Stars, Tending Ivy. Comes to Botany by Dare Say that I know my way around a patch of ivy better than the next man. Most botanists will attempt to tell you rules about how one should care for their ivy. Unfortunately, these bumbling buffoons haven't spent enough time researching all the different types of ivy to learn their subtle differences. Why, just the other day, some fool on the hill told me that jangling bell ivy should be planted in relatively moist soil next to blossoming garters. As any ivy scholar worth his weight in dirt knows, blossoming garters require such a huge amount of water that one 
would drown the jingling bell just by attending to the garters. Moist does not mean soaked. I ask you, what will it take to educate these comical gestures of the scientific community? Uh, now, if this were the original game, we could sell all these to that guy that uh, says he's a historian, or an amateur historian. That's a fish. Okay. Now, okay, there's got to be somewhere I can put these. Yeah, oh well. That goes there, that goes there. Oh, that's going to be the thing to the north, I guess. Um, yes. Yes. Wasn't this locked just a moment ago? More some creature three. Secret societies, Kraken society, criminal information does secret societies. Criminal information gathers spread across the north. The organization is said to consist mostly of thieves and priests of Umberley who work for a mysterious overlord, often referred to as the Heralds of the Sea. The Kraken society employs torture, kidnappings, and assassination in its efforts to be in the know. Their symbol is a mini tentacled purple squid. That's an interesting book. Is there something you want? Bookshelf has a number of strange books with odd titles ranging from How to Serve Man to Ophidian Necromancy. Yeah, that's not a good sign. That's really, really, really not a good sign. Okay, well, okay, well, that's why um, that part of the library is banned. That wasn't to the north. Eldathan. Eldathan, Eldathan, Eldathan. Okay. Um, mice. Don't see anyone here. Of Dathan. Hello to you there. Recreate some of the patterns that of a golden carp. Okay, that door is locked. Eldathan. So let's find this Shara person. Tapestry. Eldath. Shara the healer. Well met. I'm Shara, a healer. Can I be of some assistance? Do you know anything about the heart... Let's see here. Do you know anything about the Hearthstone gem? Mm, Hearthstone gem? No, sorry. I've never heard even heard of it. Sorry, I can't be of more help. Strange abductions and sightings of monsters have been occurring near Coldahard. Do you know anything about them? We live a very secluded life here in the caverns. I don't get out very much. 
It's difficult with all the evil going on above us. Farewell, Shara. Okay. That's okay. Follow. Do Good. it. You're just gonna let me unlock it. A specific key is required to unlock that. Okay. Well, Dathan. Okay. IWD, El Dathan. Be right back. We're starting new when we start a new video. It's a little I'm trying to stay in the 15 minutes that now because I know I have a lot to go up and down, up and down, all the way up to 35 minutes. Anyway, talk to you later.